Hey everyone, it's Anna and welcome to my channel. I thought I would do a quick garden update today. It's June 4th and uh, this is one of our blueberry bushes. You can see it's been recently rained on. Uh, there are some berries that have started to form as well as lots of flowers that will eventually turn into berries as well. This is one of our nine raised beds. This bed has some calendula there in the front as well as some chamomile. There's some volunteer sunflowers, some beautiful um, starts to heads of lettuce. There's some echinacea plants in this bed, some squash plants, and even some marigolds. In some of the other beds, we have tomatoes, lots of volunteer sunflowers that I just couldn't bring myself to dig up. Um, there's lots of marigolds and onions and all different kinds of things. Here is a closer look at some of the tomatoes. That's a volunteer sunflower there in the left hand corner. It's going to be enormous. And this bed also has some starts of some young kale. This is a closer look at some of the chamomile. Uh, there's three echinacea plants uh, planted next to this trellis as well as a couple of tomatoes on the other side. And there's also some cucumber plants that are just now getting started in this bed as well. This is gonna be a very beautiful bed with all those flowers. Here is a closer look at some of our lettuce. It has done just remarkable this year with the cool spring that we've had. It's really loving the rain, and uh, you can see that it's filling in really nicely. Lots of little volunteer sunflowers in there. I just can't bring myself to dig them up. <laughs> and here is a look at some of the lavender that we have in our bed. Um, this is in a, one of the raised beds. There's some garlic there at the end, and uh, this bed also has some um, squash plants that are getting started as well as some pole beans that are planted along the trellis. This bed also has lots of little pansies. Uh, that's the little green plant that you can see there in the left hand corner. And then of course there's volunteer sunflowers as well. This next bed uh, will have some butternut squash that comes up there in the center. There are pole beans planted along each of the cattle paddle trellises, and uh, there's lots of sunflowers that you can see there. And there at the end, you can see two rows of snap peas that are coming up, as well as some kale and uh, some pansies and a couple of rows of lettuce. This is going to be a very productive bed with those cattle panels and the pole beans on each side. Here is a closer look at another row of tomatoes, and there's a lemon balm there in the lower right hand corner as well. And this um, video shows a really good close up of the, those uh, pole beans there along that panel. There's calendula in this bed, there's pansies, there's uh, sage in the upper right hand corner and some pansies. There's a few peas that are planted along this trellis. Uh, on the other side there's a tomato, there's a beautiful row of uh, lettuce. And uh, in it, look at those beautiful colors, just really beautiful fall colors. And there's also some dill that's coming up as a volunteer there. And uh, these lettuces are just going to be so wonderful. I think they look so beautiful with the raindrops on them. There's more tomatoes in this bed as well. They're planted on either side of the trellis and um, giving them lots of space that I can tie them up to the trellis and uh, they can be supported all summer long. I do have a couple of marigolds planted in this bed as well. I love these bright, cheerful orange color flowers. Those are two different varieties there. And here's another look at some more lettuce that I have in a different bed and a volunteer sunflower. <laughs> and you can see some peas there in the background as well that will grow up that trellis that's in the bed. This bed also has some squash plants that I've started and I've covered them up with those little wire baskets just to keep the mice and the birds from pulling up the seeds and a little bit of uh, Walla Walla onions there as well. This is a row of new spinach that's coming up and uh, you can see there's another row behind uh, the uh, water line as well. So this will be a, a good nice um, bit of spinach for us to enjoy this summer. And then also there's a few other things planted in there as well. Here's a look at one of the biggest tomato plants that we have growing. It's actually starting to get some flower heads down in the center of the growth point there. And uh, so eventually we'll have some beautiful tomatoes off of this plant. I think this is a super sweet 100. Our cherry tree had beautiful blossoms on it earlier this spring and it's starting to set fruit. So I'm so excited that we'll have some beautiful cherries this year. And then here's a closer look at uh, chamomile. It grows on a beautiful ferny plant and then it creates little flower heads that are little white and yellow daisies and uh, it's really beautiful. And this is a calendula plant before it blooms. You can see some of the flower heads are starting to form um, in those leaves. 
I think the chamomile is such a beautiful plant. I really love the leaves and um, the only bad thing about it is it does spread a lot. It drops a lot of seeds. So, uh, but thankfully it's, it is fairly easy to pull out in the springtime. So here's another look at that bed uh, with the calendula in the corner, all the chamomile that's growing there and the sunflowers, and then the beautiful rows of lettuce and tomatoes and flowers. That snake you see there in the background is rubber. We put them in the garden to detour the birds and mice uh, from getting in the beds. And sometimes I think they work, sometimes I, I don't think they do. But anyways, thanks for a quick look at the garden. I hope you enjoyed.